welcome to a new episode of Hallmark Heartbeats, a podcast all about Hallmark movies. I am your host, Camille. Thank you for joining me today as I get a chance to interview Tayana Tully, star of newest Hallmark movie titled Love for Real. She played the role of Bree. Tayana is a local actress from here in Hawaii. She talks about her previous acting roles, how she got the role of Bree, her favorite attributes of the character, what it was like working with Corbin Blue, and so much more. Here's the interview. Let's start. Um, well, for the listeners, you want to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Tyana Tully, and I play Bree on Love for Real. What, uh, what's your previous work? So what kind of stuff have you done before Love for Real? Before Love for Real, I was in two films that were recently featured in the Hawaii International Film Festival, um, Aloha Surf Hotel and Water Lake Fire. I was also in um, the Netflix show called The Naked Director. I was also in Magnum PI and Hawaii Five-0 and many, many local commercials. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, what, I was intrigued by Water Lake Fire. What is that about? I saw like some of your posters on um Instagram was like, oh, that looks cool. What is that about? Yeah, Water Like Fire was a film that was very dear to my heart. And it was the first film that I had done after graduating from acting school. So it was the first opportunity I had to really utilize the skills that I had learned and put it into like actually developing my own character for a full length film. Um, And it was one that we filmed over the span of three years and did post-production and everything. It took us three years to make this film. So yeah, Mitchell, who was the director and co-writer of Water Like Fire and the actress, Angie Anderson, who played my best friend, ended up becoming my best friends just from this film. So even more so, it became such an important piece for us. And um, the story itself is about how a brother and sister cope with tragedy in two different ways. So about an estranged family that like has fallen apart parents have passed away and the brother and sister do not talk for so many years and then something happens where it has to bring them back together and yeah I can't give too much away but it <laughs> well, has to bring them back cur- together. so for those who might be curious about and want to watch this where do you where, where can we watch it that's a great question I hope that it'll show up on streaming platforms soon it is currently still being submitted for film festivals. So it'll have to wait a little bit after its festival run. But other than that, look out for it on the streaming platforms. I'm sure it'll show up on Amazon Prime or one of those. Yeah, it, it looks really good too. As I was looking through Instagram, I was like, oh, this looks actually good and stuff. If you want to cry and get your heart ripped out and torn to pieces, definitely watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, you know, and I don't know if you heard my podcast, but I kind of like listed that this was like the most diverse cast as far as like culturally and ethnically. Up. Like mm-hmm. what, is, what, what is your cultural background? I assume that you were Kanaka, but I was 100% sure. Yeah, so I am Chinese, Hawaiian, Tahitian, Filipino, English, Irish, German, French, um, Native American. So I'm a, a big little melting pot of stuff, but the culture that I identify most with is Tahitian because my grandmother's from Tahiti and I grew up dancing Tahitian and hula. So yeah, I also identify as Hawaiian as well, but it, I feel more comfortable identifying as Tahitian just because I know that I'm more of Tahitian blood than I am Hawaiian blood. Yeah, how long have you been dancing? You've All my life, since I could walk. Yeah, I saw your um, hula pictures. I was like, girl, I got some moves. <laughs> yeah, my family owns a Tahitian dance company. So I've been dancing since forever. And my mom danced too at, when she grew up. So it runs in the family. And I didn't have much of a choice, but thankfully it is a passion of mine. So I still you do still, it. So you still do it? I still do it. Yeah. yeah. Can't picture oh. my life without it. <laughs> I I can't, I don't dance. I can't dance for the look of me. <laughs> sure you can. See, the thing about dance is like, yeah, there's technique and stuff, but if you could just feel the music and it makes yeah. you feel a type of way and it brings you joy, that's what it's all about. Yeah, well, being physically dis- disabled, there's like some limitations to the dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but you can dance with anything, you know? You <laughs> yeah. can dance to the music. 
<laughs> yeah. So, um, again, you play Brie in Hallmark's movie, Love For Real. Yeah. Um, so can you tell us how you got the role in, like, your audition process and everything? Sure. So um, I got the audition through my agent. And um, after the first audition, we had a callback, but this wasn't like a normal callback. The director, McLean, specifically wanted it to be more of like an intimate conversation um, rather than a like have a bunch of people sitting in like producers and stuff like that. So um, we ended up figuring out a time where we could meet through Zoom and he really just wanted to chat and get to know me. And we read a few scenes together, which was really cool because I could see what his perspective was on the scene and like what he was looking for and things like that so that was a really fun experience and he asked me why I felt like I was good for the role of Brie which was something that you don't really experience in the audition process so I really respected that and it made me feel very um like safe and um comfortable well now yeah. I'm curious how did you answer that question why why do you think Brie was for you <laughs> no basically um we we were explaining different characteristics of Bree and he was like do you have a friend like that do you, you know like I was like actually I'm that friend <laughs> that's me <laughs> so you were yeah. so you're the dating reality tv show fangirl person yeah, I would say I'm the excited friend who will hype you up, who will, who also wants you to come with me for everything, who's like really excited and just wants to like have a good time and see the bright side of everything and also have a strategy, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have a certain way of doing things. Yeah. It's hilarious watching Brie, like, um, you know, go in there with, like, Venn diagrams or whatever, like a plan of how this is going to work. Yeah, <laughs> Except, a whole like, fantasy board. I know. I mean, are you, uh, well, that does lead to my next question. Are, do you watch reality dating, reality shows like that? I do uh, watch The Bachelor. Actually, I love dating reality shows. It's like... <laughs> it's it's just it's an easy watch and it's fun and I, it's entertaining oh, yeah. I wouldn't say I'm as into it as Brie is but I definitely enjoy it and I've seen a lot of Bachelor seasons oh my god so, yeah. that is too funny her and the, uh, <laughs> football fantasy board <laughs> I know <laughs> Too well, funny. She, did, she did predict it right so <laughs> yeah she was good at what she does we love that but it's so funny it, actually watching the movie I was thinking about to myself like this this is that really what happens in behind the scenes in real reality dating show where like the producers and the act and the directors are the ones who's really choosing the girl not the not the actual bachelor <laughs> oh I believe that I'm thinking myself yeah. like maybe that's why it never works out <laughs> maybe or like when there's that one butthead that's still on and you're like why did they keep Chad <laughs> like you know? it's all for it's all for ratings, that's why. It's all for ratings, yeah. So who knows? I've never been on a reality show, so we'll never know until we go on. I know. Too bad they have to sign all those non-disclosure agreements, so no one will ever know. <laughs> I know. No one will ever know. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But um, would you ever try a dating show like that? Would you ever go on a Bachelor? No, no, <laughs> it's uh, no, <laughs> it's not like for me. <laughs> yeah, see, I just don't know how I feel about one person dating multiple people and then everyone fighting for this one person. And I always felt like there's no way all 12 of these girls actually like him, you know. It's like the competitive aspect gets to their head and it's like they think they like him because they're in love with the idea of him, but they've met him like one time. Right. So 
yeah I just see through it a little bit too much to actually be on it <laughs> so, you're, so you're like Chloe you're a little bit skeptical you're, you're like Haley you're a little bit skeptical of the whole reality dating show thing. oh yeah definitely <laughs> yes. when it comes to reality shows I'm a little more of a skeptic but um, when it comes to just generally like my energy of life and the things that I'm passionate about more of a breed for sure oh that's so cute uh, <laughs> yeah. so um you got to work with Corbin and Chloe and they both are Disney darlings they did um Camp Rock and High School Musicals my question yeah. is did you watch them like from Disney days so I definitely watched High School Musical I grew up with <laughs> High School Musical was a huge High School Musical fan oh, was more of a Zac Efron fan but it's fine we saw we all started singing all of this together. <laughs> oh, I wanted to so bad, but we had to be professional. <laughs> no, Corbin's well aware that I was a high school musical fan. We would like drive to the North Shore and I'd be like, so Corbin, I just need to know. Teenage Tyana just needs to know. And I would just ask him questions. But Corbin's such a, such a trooper. He's just so open and genuine. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if it bothered him. Maybe it did, but. <laughs> he's nice about it <laughs> oh my god I was, that, well that, that leads me to question how was it kissing Corbin <laughs> um we're professionals it was like I mean his wife was there oh, like yeah. we're all happy like you know we're just doing our job and it was fun like being in the water and we're like laughing under our breath like without the camera even seeing us like it was just it was fun yeah, that that was actually I actually made note of that that his wife was uh, in the film. <laughs> Same with um, Scott's girlfriend or whatever. Person, yeah. There. And her character was also Vanessa, so I made yeah. note that the two women that rejected Marco. <laughs> yeah. His wife and and Scott's girlfriend. I know that's a good point. It's so funny. But it was it was a lot of fun to be on set and especially like for them to be in Hawaii as a couple and experience paradise together aside from just filming. It was so much fun. And when we would all hang out together, it was really great for all of us to be together. And Sasha and Carson, I was, I love them so much. They're just the sweetest angels. Yeah. And I love that Carson played Vanessa so well because you could just see it turn on and off. It was really amazing to witness. She was good as like the villain, but not <laughs> like as like she's the so good. Thing and stuff. Yep. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know how she does it, but yeah. Um, she's good at what she does. <laughs> yeah, I know. Hey, so are you? So don't don't. Thank I, you. I actually <laughs> made I actually made note that um, I feel like the co-stars carried the movie. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Not so much the like not not to trash on Scott and Chloe but I just wasn't as invested in their storyline as like you and Brie and Marcos or like Vanessa or you know even Emily or anybody else wow. Marie was like the bomb her attitude, so good. Her attitude yeah. was crazy it was so much fun working with her yeah she's great I mean she's like a screen legend she's been like on tv for like 30 years 34 years no exactly that's why I was really looking forward to working with her it was such an honor and just like seeing her because in real life she's so sweet and she's like quiet very to herself very respectful and then right when like the cameras are rolling she's in her zone and she's doing the scene and it's like it was just so much fun. <laughs> we were like she, laughing after every take. Like that was so good. She has so much attitude. <laughs> yeah, she's so good. <laughs> Let's see where you guys come up and she comes up with the golf cart and she gives you all the rules. I was like, she's giving you Miranda Bailey vibes. Yeah, okay. I heard that from so many people. <laughs> but anyway, um, y'all filmed here in Hawaii. So like, can y'all, can you name like some of the locations that you guys filmed at? I know I recognize Kualoa Ranch, um, mm -hmm. Chinaman's Hat. Any, mm -hmm. um, I know 
one of the one of the places that you filmed at is where I used to work. Where? You know the lobby that you guys filmed at where you went to the elevator? Oh, yeah, the Topa building. Yeah, that's where I, I used to work in right there. I recognized the, like, fountain or whatever that was right outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the palm trees in the back. I was like, yeah. this is not the bay anymore. <laughs> where else have you guys, um, where else have you guys filmed? Like, what was that? You also filmed? What was that? What was that resort thing that was like? So we also filmed in this beautiful villa in Kailua, which I had never been to before. But I guess like someone owns it and then rents it out or it's a vacation home or something like that. But there's so many different buildings. It was there's this huge yard lawn in the back and then a gate to the ocean um, and the beautiful pool. It was just uh, so beautiful. <laughs> I think someone said that they that um that that was the same place Fifty First Date was filmed. I saw someone really on it. What scene? Probably when I don't remember. <laughs> but yeah, I'd be interested to to know if that's true. I know that Fifty First Date filmed that cool little ranch. Yes. Maybe that's what they're talking about. Maybe. Um. So you had a couple of horseback riding scenes. I'm going to assume the scenes where y'all were galloping up the mountain was stunt doubles. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, I would assume so. I mean, like that, that they're not gonna like let that the stars go up a mountain. <laughs> as much as we wanted to, they were like, it's liability. We need to hold you back. <laughs> but Corbin and I got to actually practice like we had a whole day of um just practicing riding and learning how to pick up the pace and stuff like that so that was a really great experience so the day of shooting we we're really comfortable we knew our horses um we felt comfortable on them which was awesome and then in the begin or the ending of that scene the beginning of when we were leaving we filmed all the way up to where we started to like trot and then almost canter and then they did the stunt doubles did you do you know how to ride did you know how to ride a horse before that or were you like um, briefly yeah I've had like some riding experience just living in Hawaii and uh, having family like here and there just want to ride so I wouldn't say that I'm good or professional or anything like that. We would just do it for like birthday parties and Girl Scouts, but <laughs> I've had like some experience and I love horses and I love animals. So it, I didn't feel like it was very new to me, but it was definitely a somewhat new experience. So what were some of your favorite things about Brie? <laughs> what are some of my favorite things about Bree? I love that she's so loyal like two best friends going on a reality dating show and Bree falls in love with Marco like you would think that something's gonna happen to ruin their friendship or tear them apart or whatever it is but I really valued the loyalty that both of them had in their friendship I love that um also Bree is like a ball of positive energy like there are times where she's like, hmm, like that sucks. But then she'll try to spin it around and, you know, make light of a situation or um, make someone, cheer someone else up, you know? I love that about her as well. Um, yeah. There's so many things, but I would say those are my top favorite things. Yeah. What, what, um, would you do another Hallmark movie? Oh, in a heartbeat. <laughs> No pun intended. <laughs> I would absolutely love to. I love, like, I had such an amazing experience on set and everything. I know that a lot of the 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 crew was local, but just I, I just love Hallmark. So yes, absolutely. Yeah. I'm a sucker actually- for cheesy romantic comedies. <laughs> this is actually the second movie I think that was filmed in. Hawaii and yeah, for all of Hallmark. I don't think they've ever yeah. filmed another one here. And I'm hoping that that means that they open up to more Hallmark movies being filmed here. My dream yeah. is to have a Christmas movie filmed here. That would be, that would be very interesting, especially without snow and stuff, a Hawaiian Christmas. 
I'm I'm definitely here for that. That's a good idea. Yeah, but show, show Christmas without snow. <laughs> I know. Well, we got sand. <laughs> exactly. Shoot. Yeah. We got sand. Have you ever heard of a sandman? <laughs> not a snowman, but a sandman. <laughs> well, there is a sandman, but it's not usually like relegated that we make <laughs> yeah right. well, well we can make it that way I don't know we'll see but yes I would definitely love to do another Hallmark movie yeah. well, it was I, actually uh, my good. sorry no it was actually um like a dream role of mine well okay so I always write down like okay what kind of role do I want to do and I'll write it down um just so that like I can get it out there um, and most recently what I wrote down was like a romantic comedy. And so when this opportunity came up, I was like, wow, exactly what I wanted. Eight. <laughs> yeah, meant so, to be. Manifestation does work some ways, but um, what kind of roles, what other roles would you like to um, do? Like, what's your dream role, this kind of thing? My dream role? Okay, my dream role right now, it changes all the time, but right now I would love to be in a sitcom like Friends. That is my ultimate dream role. I don't know why, it just feels like it would be so much fun and the cast would become like family and all of the audience is so invested in each and every character and all of their storylines. And like as actors, you can play with one another and it's very spontaneous and it's almost like theater. And I love both theater and film. So I love that a sitcom is kind of a combo of those two things. Um, yeah, I just feel like that would be a really cool experience. But I also love to do gritty and ugly roles. Like Dream Role was like Helena Bonham Carter's role on Harry Potter where she played Bellatrix. Yeah, Bellatrix. Love that stuff. <laughs> like any one of Meryl Streep's characters where she's like grungy and dirty or like something different love that I don't know if it's because I like giving people unexpected stuff but yeah <laughs> I would love to I, it fun. would feel like that would be something that you're so that is so out of um the realm for you because you're like you seem so exactly. sweet and so innocent and then you come out like exactly <laughs> <laughs> exactly that's why I want to do it because everyone like looks at me and sees like oh girl next door or cute girl or pretty girl or whatever it is but like inside I'm like this this like dorky girl who just wants to like I don't know step outside of the box and like push comfort zones and like surprise people and stuff <laughs> <It was laughs> totally your dream who would you want as your co-star, like who would you want to play, like your dream co-star be? Oh my gosh, that's a hard question. <laughs> well, Meryl Streep is like my favorite actress of all time. Yes, I so think everybody that would be, <laughs> yeah, That would be like a crazy dream. I would love to work with Jim Carrey. Oh my gosh. Well. Yeah. Um, Comedy. I have so many though I could go on and on I'm just grateful to work with anybody like it's just so much fun because every actor is going to give you a different experience and you never know what to expect while working with another actor you know you could read the script one way and then they serve you something different and I love that so I love working with different people and yeah okay so we we kind of talked about I kind of feel bad because we kind of talked about Corbin, but you did play a lot. You, your main street partner was Chloe. How was it working with Chloe? Was she like, was, is it nice? Was she nice? <laughs> was she nice? <laughs> yeah, Chloe was super nice. I would say um, among all of the people on set, I hung out with Chloe most just on set, not as much like outside of working I mean we'd have lunch together and stuff but um I mean she was very busy with a lot of stuff going on in that moment like she's planning her wedding and stuff like that um but she was sweet like she's so funny so much fun to be with we um there was one point where all of us went to Carson Scott's hotel room and like played games and like played charades and stuff like that so it was a great bonding experience for all of us 
Um, but yeah, Chloe was a lot of fun to work with and we, we really vibed like when it came to filming our scenes, immediately we had to be best friends, right? So that was really nerve wracking, not knowing how our dynamic would be, but it was, it just, everything fell into place so easily. Yes. So, so grateful for her for that. How, do, how does that work? Like to play best friends with someone you just met, you know, like, cause it's, it was yeah. so hard. <laughs> no, I know. So like hard. normal human instinct is to kind of like, I think be a little more closed off when you first meet somebody and then slowly open up. But when it comes to this kind of stuff, you just have to like let it all down and be like, okay, we're in this together. Let's figure this out. And you know, like we love each other and we have to just do it. And yeah, thankfully we're on the same page and we just jumped right into it and it was fine. Did you guys guys, like get to hang out at least before filming start? Or like, was there like any kind of like time between meeting to filming so you guys could like establish some sort of chemistry at least so no we did like a table read over zoom and I mean we didn't like get to have a conversation or anything so that was the first time that I'd seen her and then other than that I met her in the makeup and hair area and then we went on set and that was it (laughs) Yeah. Is, is blindfold yoga really a thing that was the other thing I was wondering is like is blindfold yoga a thing I, I, I wouldn't be surprised I would I would not be surprised if it wasn't because they, they have goat yoga right they have <laughs> yeah that's right I'm you know what probably blindfold <laughs> yoga is probably a thing personally I don't practice it <laughs> you don't do any kind of yoga do you do yoga I don't know I I prefer to lift weights and do burpees. Yeah, for somebody who doesn't do yoga, you were holding that pose for very well. You were not stumbling. It's a good thing that the beauty of film is cutting between different shots because I was falling a lot. I felt so bad. I was holding up, shooting a little bit that day. I, for some reason, just could not be still. Like... I mean, naturally, even if I close my eyes, I can't even stand up straight. I'll like fall over. I don't know. And I'm a dancer, so it doesn't make sense at all. But yeah, I was really worried about that. But I'm so glad with the way it came out. I was very pleased. Yeah, that is funny. (laughs) (laughs) So do you have any other behind the scenes secrets you want to share with us? Hmm. Secrets. How did you, okay, I, my question to you is, your girl wanted to see a rainbow, huh? Hawaiian rainbows, and you, you and me, we know, we're from Hawaii, we, rainbows are everywhere, especially Yeah, we see rainbows the all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you guys not <laughs> get, how, I mean, like, how did you guys not film a rainbow? <laughs> no. I know. I mean, honestly, when we were shooting, I didn't really see a rainbow anyway. Yeah, but you're right. There should have been a rainbow somewhere. <laughs> it's like funny. Everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> there might have been, actually. When we were filming at Kualoa, there might have been a rainbow. Um, but, of course, they're not going to film yeah. it. Yeah. But, but, so, were those two rainbows that was for your kisses, were they CGI or were it- where y'all did y'all do actually do that? That's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on! I mean, this was a behind the scenes <laughs> secret right there. I, I cannot disclose that information, but I will tell you that that golf scene was really funny because we had one sprinkler that was going off, just like just one. And in the script, it said to have like sprinklers all around and there's just a bunch of rainbows everywhere. So I was like, I do not know how this is going to come out. But it came out nicely. Like it, it was perfect the way it was. But yeah, I w- that was really funny because walking up, we were like, what's going on with this one sprinkler? But then it's like, it's fine. We're good. <laughs> Yeah. You guys are you guys were so cute too. I just like I love the rainbow kisses. I thought it was the cutest thing ever. Thank you. <laughs> and I swear Brie is like 
<laughs> your um, character's joyfulness and everything was just captured throughout the whole movie. <laughs> Aww. But good. I'm so glad. Something that McLean said that really stood out to me was that he really wanted Brie to encompass like the Aloha spirit since we're filming in Hawaii. He really wanted like to bring that kind of element to it. And he felt like, like I kind of did that for the role since I'm local and from Hawaii. So I'm really glad that you felt like there was joy emitting from Brie because that was my intention and goal for this character too. Oh yeah, it, it definitely was emitting. I, you had like, uh, you had, you had, you were smiling pretty much the whole movie, so you couldn't even. <laughs> and you had the best, you had the best facial reactions too. <laughs> Thank you. I'm even very. Even the camera excited. wasn't on you. You were just like making the funniest reactions to certain lines <laughs> and stuff. But it was so Thank you. I'm glad you appreciate my expressiveness. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any questions for me? Um, why do you like Hallmark movies so much? Oh God. Um, because it's a good, fun, clean, you know, environment like movie. And so you know, people keep saying stuff like it's always the ending the same. It's always like, you know, happy ending and stuff like that. But I think that's a good thing sometimes, you know. It is, yeah. You don't want like sad endings or you don't want like cliffhangers all the time, you know. You want yeah. like an ending that you know is going to happen anyway. You know? Yeah. And, I totally um, get that. Yeah, I like that. And I also... But I also love the fact that um, now, finally, um, Hallmark is like doing more inclusive storylines, you know, with like diversity characters and diverse storylines and stuff like that. Because when I first started watching like Hallmark, I was like, why is everyone white? <laughs> yeah, I feel that way too, especially being people of like, different cultures like different color skin like we want to see ourselves up there we want to be represented in some way oh, yes you know? yes yeah. and um, you know now they're like I mean like what three weeks they're gonna be having Christine Ko who's like a Chinese American actress and like her whole family is gonna be like her whole family is gonna be featured in the movie too so yeah. well, I mean like there's gonna be a whole Asian um, storyline too in the movie Sweet Pe Sweet Pecan Summer and I'm begging I am begging to get a chance to interview Lauren Tom who like was on Joy Luck Club and she's in the movie of, of Sweet Pecan Summer and oh my god if, if I get a chance to interview her my mom and my dad would probably like give me whatever I <laughs> We're so like my job people, you know. We play with job all the time and stuff, but you know, <laughs> China Club is my job. So yeah. But That's yeah. Awesome. It's like, you know, like you said, it's the representation and the diversity is something that they're finally working on. It took took them like 20 years to do it. But mm. yeah, you know, I mean it's the times now that we're all about inclusivity and diversity. So I'm happy that Hallmark is a part of that movement. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean you got you have you who's you know representing the Polynesians and the indigenous. You got like mm -hmm. um, Asians as well. <laughs> and then you got yeah. like, Chloe who's you know representing Hispanics. I mean you got like yeah Corbin and um, Malin Karen, who was representing the Black mm -hmm. community. I was like talking to another uh, podcaster on um, Instagram, and we were like, this is like the most diverse cast that we've seen in a Hallmark movie. <laughs> and it was like, yeah. And what better place to have such a diverse cast than Hawaii? Because we are like the main location of. A melting pot of diversity you know I mean you, you, your list of culture <laughs> cultural <Yeah. laughs> let me put it this way you guys if you are not from Hawaii you, don't be surprised when you ask someone what's in their, what's their cultural background if they list like 10 things yeah <laughs> anyway thank you so much
much, Tayana, for oh, letting Thank you so much for having me. It was so much fun talking with you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I will totally edit this and then um, send you the clip, the um, link to the YouTube video and stuff so you can share it or whatever on Thursday Sounds when it comes good. out. Okay. Awesome. Sounds good. Bye. Take care. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.